Okay, if we have the function, the square root of 5x plus 1, and we want to find the derivative of that, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this a little bit to make it easier to find the derivative. So if you remember back from algebra, five, or the square root is the same as the exponent 1 half. So we're going to rewrite this as 5x plus 1 to the 1 half. And now we have a composite function. So this 5x plus 1 is the inside, and the 2 to the 1 half is the outside. And so how we're going to find the derivative of this is just using the composite rule. So we're going to take our derivative is going to equal the derivative of the outside and we're going to leave the inside alone times the derivative of the inside. So we'll start with the outside. If I had some unknown quantity to the one half and I wanted to take the derivative of that, I would get, I would use the power rule. So we'd pull down the one half to the front, multiply times our variable, which is usually like x or something, and subtract one from the exponent. So that would give me negative one half here. So that's the derivative of the outside. And it says over here in parentheses that we want to leave the inside alone. So I'm just going to take the inside and just copy it down. So 5x plus 1 is what was inside before. So that takes care of this first part. And then we want to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. And so we said earlier the inside is 5x plus 1. The derivative of 5x plus 1, we'll just go part by part. The derivative of 5x is just 5. And the derivative of 1 is 0, so we don't need that part. And then we can just clean this up. So we'll have a 5 on the top of our fraction. We'll have a 2 on the bottom. And then this negative exponent moves that term to the bottom. And we can turn it back into a square root. So we'd have the square root of 5x plus 1 on the bottom. And this would be our derivative.